Welcome to Reflect on This. Hello, I am Johnny Henshaw. This is the podcast version of devotionals I send to my family and friends. In these devotionals, I share the things I'm learning about the ways and nature of God through applying my study of the scriptures to the world around me. And don't forget to keep listening at the conclusion of today's episode to hear about my recommended resources, such as podcasts that I find helpful and encouraging, books that inspired some of these episodes, and ministries that I want you to know about. So let's get started. Please join me today as we reflect on this. Today, let's continue our review of Dr. Chris Thurman's book entitled, The Lies We Believe, as we look at chapter 7 to identify some common lies that we may find ourselves believing about God, and the corresponding biblical truths that displace those lies and lead to freedom. Lie number one, God's love must be earned. But here is a truth to displace this lie. God's love has no dimensions and limitations and is not conditional. 1 John 4, 8 says God is love. Ephesians 3, 18 says, And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. Romans 5, 8 says, But God demonstrates His own love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Lie number two, God is mean and vindictive. But here are three truths to displace this lie. God is neither shaming nor condemning. Romans 10.11 says, Now the scripture says, Everyone who believes on him will not be put to shame. Psalm 25.3 says, Indeed, none of those who wait for you will be ashamed. Those who deal treacherously without cause will be ashamed. Here's another truth. God bathes my sins in grace and forgiveness. 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Ephesians 1, 7, we have redemption in Him through His blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of His grace. And the third truth, God is good. Psalm 86, 5 says, for you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive and abundant in loving kindness to all who call upon you. Psalm 34, 8, O taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Psalm 145, 9, The Lord is good to all, and his mercies are over all his works. Lie number three, God gives us everything we want. But the truth is this, God will give us the gifts He wants us to have. This implies that He may withhold things that would be bad for us. James 1.17 says, Every good thing given and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shifting shadow. And Psalm 84.11 says, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord gives grace and glory. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. And another truth. God will give us gifts when he wants us to have them. We must be patient and wait for him to act. Psalms 27 verses 13 through 14. I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. And lie number four, God has lost control of everything. But the truth is this, God is omnipotent, all-powerful. He is omniscient, all-knowing, and omnipresent everywhere at the same time. 
He is sovereign and has everything in complete control. Job 42, 2 says, I know that you can do all things and that no thought or purpose of yours can be restrained or thwarted. Matthew 19, 26 says, But Jesus looked at them and said, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Job 12, 13 says, But only with God are perfect wisdom and might. He alone has true counsel and understanding. Psalm 135, 6 says, The Lord does whatever He pleases in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all the depths. O God, when we find ourselves thinking one of these lies, please bring to our mind the corresponding biblical truths that will displace the lie and lead us to the freedom that You have designed for us to walk in by the power of Your indwelling Holy Spirit. Today, I encourage you to reflect on this. Today's featured resource is the Bible Study Software Package entitled eSword. This free Bible Study software is available for download to a wide range of computers and mobile devices, including Windows and Mac computers and Apple and Android tablets and phones. The download includes several free public domain resources, including Bibles, dictionaries, commentaries, devotionals, and maps. You can then download from within the eSword program many more free public domain resources. You can optionally purchase whatever copyrighted resources you want to create a powerful study library. One of the greatest benefits of Bible study with this software is the multi-window display so that you can simultaneously have windows open to a Bible translation, a dictionary, and a commentary. They are automatically linked so that if you select a verse, then the corresponding entry in the selected dictionary and commentary are displayed. You can also easily compare Bible translations by viewing them in parallel windows. For the Bible translations that have embedded Strong's numbers, referencing the corresponding Hebrew or Greek word, you can hover over a Strong's number and a tooltip pops up with the Strong's definition for that word. To learn more and to get a free download of this amazing study tool, on your computer go to esword.net, that's e-sword.net. On your mobile device, Go to your app store and search for eSword. That's e-sword.